Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to do an initial review on the 2021 GMC 3500 HD SLT model with the 6.6 .6 V8 gas motor in it. Just to give you a little background, I've owned a diesel for about 20 years. I owned a uh, 2000 Ford with a 7.3 in it. And then in 2006, I bought a GMC uh, with the Duramax in it. And so I've owned a diesel for the last 20 years. And uh, my, I don't tow near as much as I used to. Matter of fact, I just towed this trailer over here that you see, <clears throat> about 7,000 pounds dry. And I wasn't sure that I wanted to go with the diesel. With the additional $10,000 additional cost, more maintenance, uh, all the emission stuff that they have, I just wasn't sure I wanted to go back to a diesel. So I decided to try this 6.6. And initially, I will tell you, I am very impressed with this motor. Um, I've towed that trailer, uh, not a lot, but some, and I don't seem to have any troubles with it. So I thought I'd just uh, show you some parts of the truck and give you my initial impressions. I've got about uh, 2,200 miles on this truck, and um, so far, I'd absolutely love it. Uh, it's uh, got the SLT model in it, and I was going to order one from GMC uh, and actually ordered a truck that was an SLE model. And they came back and told me they weren't going to build the truck. So I contacted uh, Dave Smith Motors up in Kellogg, Idaho to see if they could find me a truck. And uh, in about a month, they found me exactly what I wanted, except one trim level up, meaning this is an SLT uh, instead of an SLE. Well, initially, I wasn't crazy about that, but in these days, <clears throat> you take what you get, pretty much. And there's some options that I actually got on this truck that I wasn't going to order that I'm really glad I got. And so I'll talk to you about that today. One of the first things that I typically wasn't thrilled about was this truck came with the Multi-Pro tailgate. Um, I, matter of fact, when I went to order my truck, I had them take that off. I just thought it was a, somewhat of a gimmick. And to be honest with you, with these trucks being so tall anymore, uh, I'm really glad I've got this multifunction uh, tailgate because I'm not sure I could get in the, in the back of the truck without it. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that I absolutely love as well is B&W trailer hitches now has a, a hitch specifically made for the Multi-Pro, so you don't have to worry about smacking your uh, tailgate. If I drop this down, and fold that out, you can see that, I, and I've got that on the very top uh, hole on the hitch. I've got about a half an inch clearance there. Even if I stand on that, uh, it doesn't come close to that boss, which is real nice because typically I have a hitch on my truck all the time. Um, and then being able to get into the truck, you know, you have this come in and I can just step up there, step into the truck. And because uh, right now this tailgate hits about above the waist. I'm not very tall. And so uh, these trucks are not getting any shorter, that's for sure. So put this away. Uh, I love this tailgate so far. Um, it's been it's been really good. Um, the other thing that I will tell you is I'm standing. I'm about five seven, and you can see that where this uh, bed hits me is about mouth level. And so these trucks are quite a bit taller than my 06 GMC by about probably four inches or better. And I can't reach in the bottom of the uh, bed now, so thank God they've got these steps, uh, bed steps on all four corners. These have got the 18 inch wheels. Um, everything, a couple other things that I will tell you that I'm glad I got that I didn't order initially was the park assist sensors that are down on your front and back bumpers. And the reason why I uh, like those 
and I didn't think I would need them initially, is this hood is so tall when you're looking out that you have a tough time determining kind of where your bumper's at. And this park assist um, sensors really help in doing that. They give you a great indication on your dash, kind of how close you're getting to things. So that's been uh, kind of a nice feature that I hadn't planned on getting, but I'm glad I've got. The other option that I wasn't going to get on this truck that I'm glad I got was uh, power mirrors. So you have the ability to fold these mirrors in and out uh, with just a switch on your armrest. And initially I didn't think it was a big deal, but trust me, you'll want to get that option because anytime you go through a drive-through uh, to the bank, to the fast food restaurant, I don't care what you're doing, these mirrors are sizable enough that um, a lot of times it, there's going to be a problem with you uh, going through the drive-through. And so being able to uh, automatically fold these in, do your business and then fold them back out, not have to do it manually, uh, is a big help. Like I said, it wasn't something that I had planned on getting. I'm glad I got now that I, that I have it. Interior-wise, this is the Walnut. I, I hate black interior, so I uh, held out for the lighter interior, which isn't really that light, but it's lighter than black. It's the Walnut and the Ash uh, that they have. This is kind of an unusual color. They don't get very many of these, but I like a little bit lighter color. The other thing that I will tell you that I'm really happy with is GM has really stepped up their game on their complete coverage floor mats. This was like a $200 option, and there's uh, just carpet underneath here. Um, but I had them install that, and man, they fit just as well as like the WeatherTechs do, um, and they're about the same price. You've got the complete hump cover that goes all the way across. It goes all the way back up and into here, <clears throat> really ha happy with that. Then on the, uh, in the back seat, you can see um, the complete coverage goes all the way underneath the edge. And so um, I think these mats are gonna be great. They, uh, they're well fitted and they cover all the way out to the edge. And so, um, I'm a kind of guy that I like to have all my stuff protected because I use this rig for hunting and fishing and, and I've got two dogs that are riding, riding in here all the time. So it makes it a little easier to keep clean. The other thing I really like is much bigger areas to store water bottles. You can actually put your hands in here and clean these in the bottom. My old old six uh, GMC, these were so tight that you had to stick, you know, a small nozzle in your vacuum to clean these out. Well, these are these are uh, big enough that they're they're very easy to handle and clean. Love that. Let's talk a little bit about uh, gas mileage. <clears throat> that was one of the things I was concerned about when I went from a diesel to a to a 6.6 gas motor is, was I really gonna <clears throat> pay for it uh, in the reduction of gas mileage? And you can see that uh, on trip two, I have not reset it. So I've got 2,241 miles and my average has been uh, 14.5 and that's been within a couple of tenths one way or the other every time I fuel up so it's pretty accurate <clears throat> it looks like this last time that I fueled up I was getting a little bit over 15 so it looks like I'm slowly getting better gas mileage but as a rule I'm getting you know 12 to 13 around town and if I keep it under 75 on the freeway I can get uh, 16 to 17 um, that seems to be, and so that's about what I was getting with my 06 Duramax. So fuel or gas mileage is going to be very close to the same. I realize that <clears throat> not quite what you're getting with a brand new diesel, but uh, close enough that it, uh, it still pencils. The other thing that I will tell you that I'm happy with is I've, I've had this out in the hills, and uh, one thing that I had forgotten about since it's been so long since I had owned a gas motor is the weight in the front of this truck uh, makes driving, uh, driving uh, you know, off-road so much more fun because you don't have that weight in the front end 
that are, is trying to bottom out your suspension all the time. So that's been a pleasant surprise. On the transmission temperature, one of the first things that I realized when I got this truck is, hey, wait a minute, there, there's no uh, temperature gauge for the transmission. And that's because it's part of this instrument cluster down here. It's, you just scroll through it and you can uh, pull up transmission temperature uh, down where the uh, trip counter is, which is, which is really nice. Um, so that part of it's been, been good. Interior wise, nothing fancy. Um, like I said, uh, everything, what I like about it is you got all your buttons down here. <clears throat> you can control a lot of it from uh, your screen. Um, the Apple CarPlay, I've got a, a, an iPhone, so I use Apple CarPlay. It works fantastic. You don't need to worry about uh, navigation because you can use it right from your phone if you've got a smartphone, which is very nice. Um, so I didn't have to pay extra for that feature. Lots more room in the cab in general. I noticed from my 06 to this one, there is a lot more room uh, from where you sit to the dash, even if you have that seat scooted all the way forward. Ample headroom, they, they increased this. So uh, I think if you were real tall, you would still be, still be uh, have plenty of headroom. Let's go check out the engine compartment. With this 6.6 uh, .6 liter gas V8, um, there's a lot more room in here than you would see with the diesel. They did leave the extra battery box in here, which I think is kind of nice. So you, if you wanted to put in an, uh, an uh, accessory battery, you certainly could do that. But you can actually see the, 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 uh, the majority of the a motor all the way around it, which is nice. Everything is easy to get to. And I love the front end on this truck. It's one of the reasons why I bought the truck. I just like the look. Now let's talk about that th this is a one ton truck. This is one of the things I was a little worried about. So this is a 3500 HD. I initially wanted a 2500 three quarter ton. And so when they called me and said, hey, this is a one ton, are you interested? Uh, I really struggled with, man, you know, is a ride going to be, uh, is there going to be a lot of difference in a ride? And so um, we decided to go for it. And to be honest with you, um, I really don't notice a difference between my 2500 that I had and this one. You can hear that it's, uh, you know, that you're going over bumps and those kind of things, but you don't actually feel it in the ride. And so the, I think they've done a great job in um, tuning the uh, suspension. I will tell you on corduroy roads, it's a little rougher, no doubt about that. Um, but I just, you know, it's one of those deals where you gotta, uh, it's kind of a give and a take. Anyway, thought you guys would like to check it out. I know I was looking at a ton of videos before I decided to do this. And I'm so far, I'm very happy with it. I. Uh, Love the way the perf uh, that 6.6 gas performs. I'm getting uh, you know good uh, gas mileage for the size of truck that we've got, and all in all, I uh, I am very happy. It's a very comfortable, capable pickup. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the information. If you enjoyed the video, if you please like and subscribe, I'd sure appreciate it. You guys have a great day.